All right. So I wanted to start this one um, in a nice seat. We'll just do a short um, breathing practice and a meditation on obviously our um, fall equinox was yesterday. I guess not obviously, not everybody pays as much attention to that as I do. But um, yeah, it's, you know, always a really potent time to, you know, sit with yourself and just take stock of everything. So um, for this practice, you know, you might like to sit up onto a pillow or any blanket or something to lift your hips and feel nice and relaxed in the legs. And then give, you know, attention to everything around you as you're setting your space up. You might like, um, you know, you might like to set the mood with a candle or um, grabbing anything that you like for some ease. We will do a little bit of movement afterwards. So you'll want to have your mat nearby too. <clears throat> and you can sit with your legs crossed or you can sit up onto your shins. Either way, just let yourself get really comfortable. You could even do this lying down on your back too. So there are no rules. You just wanna be able to feel good in your bones. And let the eyes begin to close. Begin to breathe into the chest, filling all the way up. And then just open the mouth, let it out. Clearing a little bit more space, take a few more rounds just like that, breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. You might even take a few more rounds on your own like that, or you might feel ready to close the mouth and just breathe in and out through your nose. Bring the hands all wherever they feel good. Palms can be down onto your knees or they could even be turned up in an effort to gather. And this time of year is uh, time for harvest. It's also time for checking in with yourself. And what that means is checking in with, you know, who you are, what kind of person you want to be. And if that aligns with who you have been or who you feel like you are becoming. And a way to do that is just with each breath, allowing your mind's eye to travel back maybe the last three or six months or even nine months to the beginning of the year. Maybe if you set any intentions for the new year. And if, you know, if those intentions have kind of gone out the window, first recognize that you're only human and it's okay. You can always set new intention. And if they've gone out the window, but they're still you know, meaningful to you, you can pick them right back up anytime. Getting real with yourself, getting honest about what it is that you want out of the next three to six months. And noticing all that you have accomplished 
right up until now. The things that you had planned for, the things that maybe came as a surprise, even the most mundane, small ticket items, you know, like creating a yoga practice or beginning to carve out a little time in your day just for you. That is a big accomplishment. Even, even if it's not your ideal setting or even if it's not, you know, as, you know, quote unquote, perfect as you think your practice could be, just making the beginning and showing up for yourself is a really, really big deal. Slow breathing in and out through your nose. Maybe in your mind's eye, start to imagine these goals, past and present and future. Imagine each one as a leaf. You could even sort of get really kind of ethereal with it and make your whole, you know, your body in your mind's eye, the tree and the leaves, your goals around your crown. And as with this time of year, the process of dying off begins. And with that, even our goals, our attachment to them, the expectation of the outcome, imagining those withering just as the leaves do. Falling away. With each exhale, letting one drop off. And this time of year is also a really great opportunity to fully allow yourself to grieve and mourn certain aspects of your life that maybe you have become willing to stop clinging to this year in particular, but every fall we get this opportunity to, to look back and to see what is no longer serving us. And if we're willing to let go, if we're willing to let it fall away. And sometimes I know I personally like to cling on to things, people, relationships, friendships, goals, ideas. I cling to them so tightly because I'm afraid of what will happen next. But you know what? The process of allowing the dying off to happen in its own graceful way, its own divine timing. There is peace in that. And when I'm ready to let go, sometimes there's claw marks in it. I'm holding on too tight, but whenever it happens, it's just peaceful letting go. And knowing that the winter brings this cycle of death and after that spring will come with rebirth fully trusting in 
the process and the timing and in the idea of letting go to create space for that abundance and not just abundance of material things abundance and joy laughter healing Letting it all flood in. Take a few more rounds of breath here. Reminding that even as we are letting go and maybe preparing to grieve those things that we're letting go of. We know that it might get hard. And when it does get hard, we can, we can rest, we can slow down. Letting yourself rest, begin to send the breath deep down into your belly. With every inhale, fill the belly up. And softly release. Again, breathing deep into the belly. Pausing in that moment of fullness. Creating the sacred moment of pause here. Exhale, let it go. Take one more breath just like that, just for you. Let the hands come together in front of your heart as you bow your chin to your chest, maybe rounding into the spine. And then one by one, lifting the chest, the vertebrae start to stack all the way up as you maybe open the eyes, letting some light in. Breathing in. Open the mouth, let it go. Take the hands back behind you. Come up onto your fingertips. I'll scoot back so that you can see me here. You might like to be on your mat for this portion. You don't need a mat, either, but you might like it if you want extra um, cushion. So your fingertips come behind you. Roll the shoulders back, lift up. Feel that low belly zip in and up so that you can lift the heart a little more. Breathe in. And exhale, round out through the spine. Take your hands to the front of your knees and sit back. Keeping your hands where they are, lean forward, open the chest. And exhale, rock it back. One more, just for good measure. And we'll start to stir the pot here. So imagining your pelvis, your entire pelvis center is the bowl or the pot, I guess. And imagining your spine as it comes out of it is the spoon, especially if you want to get into like the witchy hour of this time of year, you could be stirring the cauldron. And so this stirring around is coming more from the base of your spine than it is of, you know, coming from your arms and your shoulders. So that movement, you know, might fully express out into your shoulders. It might not. It could be super small. And you might even sort of play around with making it really big and really small and just see. Which one feels more attuned for you? Which one feels um, just right? If you've been going in one direction this whole time, just switch it and go the other way. Stirring the pot. What are you throwing in? What kinds of things are you going to allow to come into your life? Perhaps 
a more more attuned to self care routine, maybe maybe you're allowing that. You know, maybe adding in five minutes of meditation or journaling into your day somewhere. It could be in the morning, it could be in the evening. Let's go the other way again. What else would you like to add? Could be eating, you know, eating more warm, good foods that just make you feel good. Maybe promising to spend more time listening to your favorite music. And now we're just kind of stirring in all different directions here, allowing everything to move into the spine. And then start to let those, you know, circles get smaller and smaller. Until finally, they find stillness. Take the inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, let's twist one hand behind you, one hand crosses over. Just letting it come naturally, nothing to force. There's no gold star by twisting all the way around and cranking into your shoulders or your neck. One more breath here. And then exhale, release. And inhale, arms up. Exhale, take your twist. And again, lifting up through the spine. Breathing deeply, steady. And then your next exhale, unwind. Inhale, arms up. This time we'll bend into the elbows and grab hold of opposite elbows here. Maybe even feeling that you know, re-concentration of drawing the lower belly in and up, knitting the ribs in and down. And then because you're holding onto your elbows, you have this stability here. Really try to draw the elbows away from each other and notice how that feels in your shoulders. Breathe in and breathe out. If it would feel good, you might even lift the chest slightly, coming into a little bitty back bend. Nothing crazy. Just allowing a little bit more opening in the thoracic spine. And then inhale to release. And we're just going to take the opposite grip, so the one that feels kind of funky to you. We'll do the same thing here. Pulling the elbows wide, just waking up that all of those supportive muscles in your shoulders. Shoulders away from the ears, drop them down, lift the heart. And release, hands to the sky. Palms together, lower the hands to heart center. Take the legs, extend them out wide. And this doesn't need to be, you know, a middle split or anything. Just kind of get a little stretch in them. You might even get a little padding along the front and top of your thighs. Maybe down to your shins. Maybe even a little deep tissue massage. You know, I guess it's not really that deep, but like, you know, kind of get into there. So you can you know, get into the, the back of your booty and your hips. Point and flex the feet. Maybe roll the ankles around. And check in here. What would feel nice? I think like a side bend for me would feel really nice. I'm going to take my left hand, cross it over in front of my right thigh. I might even slip it underneath so I can hold on to the back, right hand up and over. And so 
to resist the urge of just kind of flopping all the way over, I'm using my left forearm and elbow pressing into my left thigh to get more length on that whole right side. And maybe I take the bicep up by the ear for a deeper sensation, but I'm not really looking to collapse over. It's really about lifting up. Maybe I come on back up, arm slide, big inhale. And exhale, let's switch it over. And you can just take the palm down if that feels better to you, or bend into the knee, slide the palm underneath, really get a good chunk of meat there, and then lift up and over. Using your breath here, still grounding down through that left hip. Both of your legs are very heavy. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale up, comes arms wide, big breath. And just rolling up the wrists here, maybe kind of getting into it with the shoulders. And then, you know, I think I'm feeling pretty, pretty good. Maybe a little bit more massage in the legs. Maybe even bringing the feet together for the knees open wide just to allow a little butterfly. Sitting up really, really tall. Find some stillness at the knees open wide still. And maybe we'll take a bow. Use the elbows to reach the thighs further open. Let the heart lean forward. Come on up. Close the legs here. Give me a little seated child's pose. Breathing into the back body here, really stretching between the ribs. And exhale, let it go. I hope you enjoyed that. And let me know um, what, what else is going on and how it's feeling for you. And, you know, if there's something that you're trying to let go of and maybe you are, you know, want to chat about it, you know, I'm not like a professional or anything, but might know how to move your body through it. So, talk to you soon.